Today's video, I wanna help you lose weight, but most importantly, I wanna help you keep it off. Now, a lot of people struggle with structure. We all struggle with tracking our food. We have a hard time keeping ourselves accountable. And so what I wanna do in today's video is give you methods that is gonna make sure that you stay on track without actually putting in a ton of effort. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to eliminate temptation. Now, a lot of us, we stress eat or we snack, we put a plate of popcorn down or nuts next to us, and we sit there and we work, and what do we do? We look down at the popcorn, we look down at the nuts, and they're completely gone. So the first thing that I would tell you to do is limit the amount of hours that you're allowed to eat. I would do intermittent fasting. Now, one of the hardest parts about fasting is that your stomach is the containers in your stomach are shrinking, and as the lack of calories are in your stomach, it then triggers the hunger hormone, right? Now, what we need to do is fill up that tank. So when you're in your fasting, you wanna try and just give it water, because we all know that doing intermittent fasting when those calories are gone, your body starts to use body fat. But a lot of us, we can't fight through those hunger pains. So first, start with water. The second thing that I would tell you is get into zero calorie drinks. Whatever zero calorie drinks you drink is completely up to you. Will they spike your insulin and potentially pull you out of your fast? Yes. But ultimately at this point, we're focusing on calories. We're focusing on just making sure that we don't gain weight from our snacking. So go ahead and give yourself something that's going to satisfy you until you actually eat. Now, the second thing I would tell you is the two burpee method. I started this uh, a couple months ago, and ever since I've been doing it, I've been just pre-tracking my food. Now, I'm not weighing everything, but it's slowing me down from having that second bowl of ice cream because not only do I gotta go and get the ice cream, put it into a bowl, add all my toppings, but before I even do that, I have to put it into my fitness pal. So just the thought of having to do all that work, it stops me right then and there from going and eating that second bowl of ice cream. But if I do by chance, then wherever I am, wherever you are, you gotta go down and do two burpees. And once you do one in public, and everybody sees you that doesn't know you, you're gonna just feel that embarrassment and feel those eyes on you, which is gonna give you that pre-shock the next time you go to put something in your mouth without tracking it first. The third thing I wanna tell you is you gotta find a group. If you're super dedicated and you're really focused on this, then you need to form yourself a super group. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the belly burn challenge, but if you need a super coach, then yes, go and hire a belly burn coach and even just them checking and making sure that you're tracking your food every single day, that's enough to get you on track and get you dedicated to your goals. But outside of a belly burn, there are other people here at the gym that are really focused like you and they could use a support group. So my recommendation is to find people that you can be awesome for and they can be awesome for you. Then you need to plan your workouts and template your meals. So what does that mean? Is that you need to pre-book all of your workouts, okay? You need to plan out your entire month. Just put them in the calendar, just even if you're sitting there and you don't even plan on going to that one, at least you have something set on the schedule. If you have something already scheduled, there's a good chance that you're gonna show up. Then you don't have to eat exactly what you template your food either the night before or the day of. So go into MyFitnessPal and try to template your food and then just make adjustments as you go. At least if you have a template, you have some type of structure. And if your first thing to eat is like a double protein, at least you're going to have something where it's predictable. The hardest part for most of us is that we don't know what to eat. And when it comes to time when we're really hungry, what do we do is we just look for the simplest and tastiest thing that doesn't require much effort. Whereas if we have it templated in our brain, there's a good chance that we're gonna follow that path and we're less likely to snack on the popcorn and the almonds. So there we have it guys. If you're looking to lose the weight and keep it off without as much effort as required as in a belly burn, then we need to increase the amount of fasting that you're doing so that you can shorten your window of eating calories. Number two is that if you don't plan your food, try my two burpee method, right? Put it into my fitness pal before you eat. And if you don't, it's two burpees no matter where you are. Find your people. Make sure that your people are dedicated like you so that you're not just kind of like pulling them up. You want people that are on the same level as you so that you guys can do this journey together. Book in all of your workouts so that you at least have a template to make sure that you're showing up and do the same with your food. Even if you don't end up eating the same food that you put into your MyFitnessPal, at least there's a template in there that you can have some form of structure. And the last but not least, if 
all of these are not working for you or even just a couple of them and you need that extra accountability, you need that extra guidance, you need that extra push, then get on to the next belly burn. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. There's a little messenger button at the bottom. Send us a message, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started.